for engineering services general studies video lectures visit www.isgeneralstudies.com for mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answers discussion visit www.gatemec.com hi friends hope that you all did well in 2018 esc prelims exam we at iasgs are very happy that many questions came directly from uh, the articles we have provided in our website iasgeneralstudies.com and the current affairs daily current affairs which was consolidated in the name hyperloop 2018 and some questions came directly from the test series we have given in this site plus we have provided you video lectures in this youtube channel and analyzing this year question this year is the second year that upsc has started new pattern for the prelims and this year question was more tougher than the 2017 paper and this is an indication that in 2019 the paper can become more tougher and this year relative importance to different subjects changed last year environment was given more importance this year also environment is important yet project management got more more questions similarly aptitude section was very easy in 2017 but it was tougher in 2018 and this year the question standard were very good and the questions were very clear non ambiguous and of like comprehensively covered the syllabus so the next year also you can ex expect the same lines so what you have to do is do not take upsc for granted because they can bring in any changes at any time so what you have to do is be prepared with all subjects in the syllabus comprehensively and little deeper so as to so as to enable us to answer any question that upsc gives for you the next exam here i am discussing the question from set a first question is question number 8 from the aptitude section the question is the sum of squares of successive integers 8 to 16 both inclusive will be a 1 1 2 6 1 1 7 c 1 2 9 d 1 3 5 6 here the question is to find the sum of squares of successive integers and we have a formula for that sigma n square is equal to n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6 here they are asking the sum from 8 to 2 16 both inclusive so 8 the term should be there 16 the term should be there <coughs> here we can do we can uh, we can apply this formula to find the sum up to 8 8 integers and sum up to 16 integers then subtract the difference difference will give you the sum between these integers but we are subtracting you have to take care that they are telling both inclusive so it means that you have to subtract sigma 1 to 16 from sigma 1 to 7 because we have to include 8 also in the answer so this formula we can apply so applying the numbers in this formula this 16 right 16 into 16 plus 1 2 into 16 plus 1 by 6 the other term is 7 into 7 plus 1 2 into 7 plus 1 by 6 subtracting take 6 as common in the denominator 16 into 17 into 32 plus 1 33 minus 7 into 8 into 14 plus 1 15 by 6 and you can simplify this equation by cutting 6 from the numerator and denominator the final answer is 1356 this option b
Next question is question number 13. It is from geometry. Circle A is 4 cm in diameter. Circle B is 5 cm in diameter. Circle C has the circumference equal to the sum of the circumferences of both A and B together. What will be the ratio of the area of the circle C with respect to the area of circle A and circle B respectively? Here we have given three circles. Circle A, circle B and circle C. Diameter of A and B are given. It is 4 and 5 respectively. So what is the circumference of a circle? It is pi d, right? So it is pi 4 pi here. Circumference is 5 pi here. And take the radius of the uh, circle C as R. The question shows that circumference of the circle C is sum of the circumferences of A and B. It is equal to 2 pi R. So what is R? R is 9 by 2 pi. 9 by 2. Now we have to find the ratio of areas of the circle with respect to C. The question is asking the ratio of the area of the circle with respect to A and B respectively. So we have to find area of C by area of A. That is one ratio. And area of C by area of B. This is another ratio. The question is asking two ratios. Not one ratio represented. Please don't make mistake here. So what could be the area of C? It is 9 by 2. Area is pi r square, right? Pi 9 by 2 the whole square by pi 4 by 2 the whole square. Or otherwise, we can ignore this 2 and pi 9 square by 4 square. 9 square is 81. 4 square is 16. And what is the next ratio? It is 9 square by 5 square. Right. 81 by 25. Here the option. Now you can. Uh, you need not to go to simplify the equations. You can just check the options. Options. 5 point is there. 1 point is there. 3 point is there. And ah, that's it. So what could be 81 by 16? 16 into 5 is 80, right? So, this answer could be 5 point something. What is 81 by 20, 25? It will be 3 point something. So, what is the answer giving the option both 5 point and 3 point? It is option C. 5.065 and 3.24. Here you can simplify the calculation and go for the option C directly. Next question is question number 14. The question is the 12 digits on the face of a clock are to be represented employing contributions of only the number 9 as either 9 or root 9. The other prescribed conditions are the least number of uses alone are permitted and second when Alternates are possible. Use of 9 will be preferred over use of root 9, which should be used minimally. How many times would root 9 have to be used? Answer is A6, B5, C4 and D3. And this type of questions are a little tricky. You may tend to spend more time on questions like this. So, please keep this kind of questions in the second round, go and finish all the questions and then come back to the questions and use your time and um, you have to be in a uh, non-tensed mind to solve this kind of questions without uh, doing any mistakes. So, the, what is this question? The question tells that there is a clock and all the numbers are represented as 9 or root 9. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 
and their uh, skin that we should use this nine or root nine minimally and in that nine is preferred over root nine <coughs> so let us first see how can we represent the first uh, three digits because other digits we can get by adding these digits right and in this what is the minimal representation it is 9 9 can be represented as 9 so we can try to write a 10 11 12 or even 7 8 in terms of 9 other minimal representation is 3 right root 9 only one digit we require now we can try to represent the numbers in terms of 9 and 3 how one can be written it is 9 by 9 we are using two digits there is no other way to use a single digit it is next minimum is 2 how can we write a 2 2 we can write like 1 plus 1 or 3 minus 1 1 plus 1 is 9 by 9 plus 9 by 9 it can be simplified as 9 plus 9 by 9 here we are using three digits otherwise 3 minus 1 right root 9 minus 9 by 9 here also we are using 3 but as per the requirement we should minimally use root 9 so we can go for this solution we need not use so 3 we can represent like root 9 so we got solutions for 3 numbers 9 by 9 it is 9 plus 9 by 9 3 is root 9 4 we can represent like 3 plus 1 right root 9 plus 9 by 9 5 we can represent like 3 plus 2 3 plus 2 is root 9 plus 9 plus 9 by 9 what is 6 6 can be represented as 9 minus 3 it is 9 minus root 9 we are using only two digits 7 can be represented as 9 minus 2, right? It is root 9 minus, sorry, 9 minus 9 plus 9 by 9. And 8 can be represented as 9 minus 1. 9 minus 9 by 9. It is 9. 10 can be represented as 9 plus 1. 9 plus 9 by 9. 11 can be represented as 9 plus 2. 9 plus 9 plus 9 by 9. 12 can be represented as 9 plus 3. It is 9 plus root 9. So here how many times we have used root 9? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the question asks how many times with the minimum usage of root 9 we can represent the numbers. So the answer is 5. It is option B. For engineering services, general studies video lectures, visit www.iesgeneralstudies.com. For mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answer discussion, visit www.getnet.com